of this that I don't really like the way this is sequenced. So I've got this box that I've got to figure out how to get it to mount on here. And that means I need to find some more sheet metal parts. So let me track that stuff. Right, so apparently to get where I want to go, I need to mount the servo with the crappy little servo hardware that comes with it. And while it's not the best, it's not even good, I don't think we need these. Um, just put them in there for now. Sure, we don't need. Yes, we do. Ah, uh, yes. Hmm. Oh, there's nothing quite like crappy, crappy hardware. things uh, okay so they go in better from the front just squeeze them and push and these little grommet things that I didn't think we were gonna need yeah they go in here actual bona fide tower hobby servo. Wow. Hadn't seen one of those in years. Didn't think they were still in business to be honest. They completely missed the boat when it came to drones. Which are really just radio control devices. screws do we get to use? Oh my god, I actually have the right size screwdriver. And yeah, they are crappy little screws, but they do do they do work, so I'm going to use what I've got. that and now that means this needs to have three little holes drilled in it so I think that looks good let's get a sharpie Alright, 
let me go drill those and I'll be back. Oh, actually, there's marks on the case where he wants them. So let me see. Uh, let's see what bolts these are. I'm pretty sure that these screws, are, this is what these are for. And needless to say, they are too small. That's irritating. Yeah, they're gonna have to be drilled. I'm gonna go drill them, I'll be back. So. that's too big so I did a 564 because I want the screws to bite into the plastic and that feels much better. The bite's what's going to hold everything on. Loosen these to get some wiggle room here. and install this. I think that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. nah, we're going to hold off on that. We'll save that for later. So, in fact, this and this and where is that three millimeter screw? Is that it? Yeah, that's it there those in there. That goes in the recycle bin. Very precise. Um, he calls for 764s. So I'm going to use 1 8th. I'm not jumping back and forth. put all those splinters in there and uh, it needs eighth inch holes here so I'm going to do that over the trash can or recycle bin I know I should be doing this some other way given my propensity for being good. 
Actually, you know what? I can see the comments now, and y'all are right. Just so we had that conversation, I know that my armchair safety Nazis will be out in force on this. You're right. I should be doing this much safer, but you know what? I'm doing it the way I'm doing it, so get the fuck over it. Yep, I just swept splinters into the recycle bin, too. Seven sixteenths would have made this a very, very tough fit, or seven sixty fourths. So yeah, eighth inch is the right size. size larger now he calls for a step bit and I personally don't like step bits I think they are a lazy lazy way to drill a precise hole Just gets a precise bend like that. Maybe it goes on like this. I don't know that. None of that looks right to me. This all looks backwards. So worst case, I'll have to move it over. It would have been really nice if there were better instructions at this stage. <laughs> 